welcome back cadets i hope all you are well and doing great today we are going to start new chapter nutrition in animals and today we will study feeding habits of animal so let us start all living things need food to grow and to live animals are living things they too need energy to move around and to work food gives them all the energy they need to perform various activities they need food to remain healthy all living organism whether they are unicellular or multicellular they need energy to perform basic activities of life and these energy obtained from the food so the basic activities include eating food excreting waste excreting waste means removing the waste material of the body reproducing means giving birth to new young ones responding to stimuli and growing so all these are the basic activities so nutrition reproduction excretion growth movement respiration and sensitivity so all these are the life processes so the word life processes means the processes take place in the human body which are needed for the existence of the life on earth so these basic activities performed by living organism in order to maintain and continue life are known as life processes living organism require energy continuously even when they are at rest this continuous supply of energy is obtained from the food or nutrition thus nutrition or food is necessary for all living organism so what is nutrition consuming of food and utilizing it for growth reproduction and maintenance is called nutrition and the process of obtaining food and then using it for obtaining energy growth and repair of the body is also called nutrition you may have learned that plants prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis animals however cannot make their own food since they need ready made food this ready made food food come from the plants or from the other animals thus animals obtain their food from the plants or from other animals some animals however eat both plant food as well as animal food we human beings are also animal we obtain food like wheat rice pulses vegetable fruits from plants and the food like milk curd cheese and eggs are obtained from the animals some people also eat meat chicken and fish as a food so these meat is obtained from the meat yielding animals and eggs are obtained from the egg yielding animals so meat chicken and fish is used or is taken by people as a food so this is obtained from the animal now let us understand heterotrophic mode of nutrition the mode of nutrition in which organism are unable to prepare food themselves and get nutrients from others is called heterotrophic nutrition animals and non green plants cannot make their own food so they show heterotrophic mode of nutrition 
and they are known as heterotrophs. So animals are classified on the basis of eating habits. They are herbivorous, carnivorous, omnivorous, parasites and scavengers. So let us start with herbivorous. Animals that only eat plant or plant product are known as herbivorous. For example, cow, elephant, buffalo, zebra, deer are the example of herbivorous animals. Now carnivorous animals. Animals that eat only flesh of other animals are known as carnivorous animals. For example, lion, tiger, leopard, wolf and fox. So all these are the example of carnivorous animals. Now omnivorous animal. Animals that eat both plant and the flesh of other animals are known as omnivorous animals. For example, bear, crow, ant, dog and human being. So all these are the example of omnivorous animal. Now parasites. Parasites are organism that obtain their food from other animals either by living inside or outside their body. For example, tapeworm and roundworm live inside the body of man or the domestic animals or tick and lice lives outside the body of animal. So, tapeworm and roundworm live inside the body of human being or the cattle and the lice or tick lives outside the body of animals. So these and parasites are known as ectoparasites because this live outside the body. Plasmodium parasite. This malarial parasite extract food from human body by living inside the body. So this is endoparasite. If it is living inside the body, then it is called endoparasite. Leech sucks the blood of the human body or cattle from outside the body. Such parasites are known as ectoparasite. So parasites are categorized into ectoparasite or endoparasites. Ectoparasites remain external to the host and endoparasites live inside the body of the host. Now scavengers. Scavengers are those animals who feed on the remains of dead animals spread by predators. For example, vulture and jackal. So in this video we learned about the heterotrophic nutrition or feeding habits of the animal. So in next video we will learn about the process of animal nutrition. Thank you. And please watch this video at least three times for understanding the concept.